What's up, guys? Yeah, so today we're gonna be talking about the smart home app by AT&T. It's the latest and greatest. It beats every app that I've ever used for AT&T or for any other service provider. Sorry about the noise, but before we get into that, make sure you download the Smart Home Manager. See you guys in a bit. So first thing you're gonna do is launch the app after you download it. You're gonna log in. Once you log in, go to find weak Wi-Fi in your home, and there's a way to figure that out. Once you figure that out, you go optimize it as your needs. Next thing would be to scan a better Wi-Fi. So pretty much it finds the best channel for you to connect to. So that way you have no interference. So once you've done that, you're going to go back to your home page and you're going to click my Wi-Fi on top left. It's going to drop down to two different networks, 2.4 gigahertz network, and you're going to have the five gigahertz network. Now it's fairly simple to share your Wi-Fi information with uh, your colleagues or friends. All you have to do is share Wi-Fi and then email or text it. Now another thing I really like about this app is that you could fairly quickly enable a guest Wi-Fi network if you have guests over. So you click on guest Wi-Fi, choose a name, and then choose a password those two things and you got a Wi-Fi network up for your guests to connect to and this is an example so creating guest Wi-Fi let's see how long it takes and there you go you're all ready to go to pass the credentials on to your friends to connect to Now, next thing what you're going to do is go to Network tab on the bottom. The Network tab is going to have Internet, Home Network Hardware, and Connected Devices. So if you go under Internet, you could test your speed and run a speed test and find out what your download and upload speeds are. In my case, I got a really, really fast speed, so I got 999 megabits per second on Wi-Fi. Uploads pretty fast as well. And it tells you your speed is great for simultaneous device streaming, sharing large files, or streaming 4K video. Now, if your device feels slow, um, there is an option there that says let's fix that. So it ha that's an automated process where it would try to find how to fix that piece if your Wi-Fi is kind of slow. Okay, let's go back and uh, click on Home Network Hardware. So this will show you information about your Wi-Fi that you're connected to. Um, you could also add as extenders if you like from this page very easily. But if you click on Wi-Fi Gateway, you could see the device details, advanced settings, connected devices, location, and then you can restart your gateway from here as well. Okay, once we go back to the main page, we see connected devices. Now in my case, I am using my own personal router for my intranet, so you're not gonna see any devices connected here for security reasons. If you don't have an intranet inside, then you're going to see all your devices connected to whichever IP addresses and MAC addresses and so on and so forth. Okay, and then you're going to go under settings. So under settings, you've got app preferences. So you can enable login with Face ID here. You could troubleshoot network issues or get notifications for it if there are any. You could get updates and reminders. And then you could also do account settings here as well. And you could 
you could see what kind of data usage you've been and what kind of plan you have and what's your account information etc and then you have help on the right side so it's fairly easy to connect to somebody to chat with about your account your Wi-Fi etc and it actually gives you um, keywords on the bottom let's say if you don't feel like typing you can just click them and then it'll kind of guide you through to connect and eventually connect you to an agent to talk to and then they can troubleshoot with you uh, but you could use voice command as well if you don't feel like typing so I think this is pretty useful um, thanks for watching guys please subscribe